Hello friends, very good afternoon and a warmest welcome from me guys. Uh, hey guys, today I'm going to explain you a very interesting thing that uh, how to run multiple computers, multiple desktops, okay, uh, from only one single CPU, central processing unit. Imagine that you have uh, a one CPU and you would be able to uh, operate or run multiple computers 10 20 30 50 then is it not be very much cost effective that will be extremely cheap and you every user can access their uh, separate individual desktop as they do on individual computer so yeah guys yeah it's possible there it is now been uh, operated it is now been in action by a technology called uh, virtual desktop which is being done by uh, think lines so let's see okay mm. this is being done by virtual desktop, uh, desktop virtualization this technology is called virtual desk, uh, desktop and or you can say desktop virtualization which facilitates us to use multiple computers as I told you 10 20 100 depending up from a single CPU and the performance and, uh, and the number of computers or clients uh, uh, totally depends upon the RAM or the processor or a graphics card or a hard drive installed on the CPU. Okay, so for uh, suppose an example for running 10 clients, 10 desktop, uh, if you have a simple dual core processor, 2 GB RAM, and uh, 1 GB graphics card and 500 GB hard disk that is more than enough to run 10 computers okay so uh, what are the benefits and advantages so first of all it is a huge cost reduction because you know that one CPU will anyhow cost you 10,000 rupees in India okay and uh, mm, if you invest uh, for two computers you would be able to get 10 computers right so and each user have can enjoy their separate own complete functionality of uh, a desktop the data will be saved in the separate drive on server hard disk and uh, you can save huge power or electricity bill where it can be used it can be used in school colleges uh, computer labs offices internet cafes etc uh, so main thing is that what makes it possible so this is the device known as thin client thin client okay it is uh, being manufactured by lot many companies uh, first of all the leading company is n computing the name of the company leading company is n computing lot many people are getting confused with that uh, n computing means this okay so this is actually company okay and uh, dell hp ibm and many more china's china company china made Think clients are available in the market so I would don't I would recommend you to don't go for China man. just go for this companies and computing is the best one Dell is good it's okay everything is very good so how cost-effective that would be you can expect you, you can get this uh, device ranging from uh, 900 rupees to uh, 2000 rupees depending upon the facilities and uh, what kind of network you are you going to use so uh, there are uh, three or four types of uh, thin clients okay which uh, have different kind of facilities first one is internet ethernet best which uses rj45 cable for networking and uh, second one is uh, pci card based which uses uh, cat5 cable for networking and a pci card uh, inserted in the cpu uh, third one be usb based uh, which uses usb cable but its limitation it has some limitation that uh, the range the distance between computers should be uh, very much uh, uh, small so uh, i would explain later uh, individually in details about each of the uh, this uh, type of clients in our next video but uh, let me tell you that uh, there will also be a centralized software which would be installed on uh, the desktop of the, or the main server which will be uh, used for controlling permissions accessibility restrictions and, and many more things which uh, could be uh, um, done through clients via server right so uh, in our next tutorial I'm going to watch you tell you details about each type of thin clients their details uh, complete details connect connection connectivity diagrams and networking 
advantages and what are the disadvantages of this thing uh, installation procedure in complete step by step details with video uh, and uh, hardware networking and sub centralized software configuration so just guys keep watching and uh, uh, watch my next video for uh, this tutorial kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if, if you love my videos so uh, guys uh, these are the you can see these are the and this is an computing thin client this is hp thin client and this is uh, uh, hp dell so these are the things right thanks a lot for watching watch next next tutorial for each time details bye bye